Okay, well here we are again guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Today we're going to have a quick run through of uh, a couple of bets that I've just got the other day there. Um, as you can see the bench is a few items here. I've got the stepper kit now from CNC for you and I've also got the motion controller which will come for in a minute. Um, just at the buy, um, I wasn't aware because I don't work in a machine environment that you can actually buy bifocal, not bifocal, bifocal um, safety devices, which you know can't really argue with. About ten or fifteen pounds, something like that. A little bit for the reading, as you know. I'm not twenty-one anymore, so this will come in handy. So these mean that I can be safe, which is a plus, and. Uh, still be what I'm doing which would be rather useful so they'll come in handy so I've had them for a week while there's various brands out there I just picked these because I like the look in the coverage so that's those they're good recommend them so the stepper kit the guys at CNC for you have put together a complete kit now that's available online for the Walco conversion and it pretty much includes everything you need with the exception of the motion controller so we'll do the motion controller last. The contents of the kit, um, the one I've got, which is the equivalent to the um, the Pro kit. They have an Ultimate kit, which has all of the steppers are the four and a half newton meter ones. But to be fair, from having a chat with Brian, what he reckons is if you've got the four newton meter steppers for the X and Y axis, and you've got the 4.5 newton meter for your z-axis you're good to go terminal block for connecting various cables and things at certain points and the other two steppers which are the same as these I've got a, uh, a third stepper because I bought a, a different kit prior to um, the kits being available in the kit you also get uh, I want to say that is 232 cable connector for connecting parallel ports so you can connect your um, breakout board to your motion controller so that's handy you get three induction sensors now I prefer these to micro switches they're not as small they're a bit more awkward to mount in some cases because you've got to have a, a bracket um, so that you can get them connected to the various axes that you want to have a, a stop on but the nice thing is is that at least you can um, not worry about getting muck into the contacts or bits of chips and swarf or whatever so you're not really going to be too worried about where they go they're waterproof i believe um, i'd need to check it does tell you the documentation but the main thing is is that you're going to be able to have your stops on your axis you get the stepper drivers so if i could open the box we'll be fine Put the box in Right, so in here is the CNC for use digital stepper driver CWD556. Okay, um, this is nothing unusual. Anybody that's done any research into a CNC kit will um, recognize these. These are what you use to actually drive the steppers with the, the dip switches and the actual connectors. So again, there's documentation available on the website. I'll come to that in a bit. So you get the three of these. You also get a standard 480 watt power supply in my kit. Uh, and some of the other kits, I think they're doing a 600 watt power supply now. But that's fine. This will be enough for what I'm doing with mine at the moment. So there we go, that's just a standard power supply. And we have another one, uh, I think that's 48 volts. Yes, four, 480 watts, uh, 48 volts at 10 amps. So that way enough to drive the steppers. You also get the Sixteen volt, one amp. No, fifteen volt. Sorry, one amp power supply to run the uh, other voltage items on the kit. 
and pop them back up there so you don't lose them because I'm sure to step a driver which will be upstairs still that's fine uh, in addition in the kits at the moment we're also able to get a switch I believe for basically on and off a filtered 10 amp power input for your IC power cables um, I ordered up um, some Panamount connectors for kind of winding this up uh, this will be fun, this will be a challenge for my soldering skills uh, always entertaining but these at least um, mean that I can disconnect the steppers and other items when they're not in use and obviously that's key nice piece of kit not particularly expensive these four or five pounds each I think it is plus the back it is worth noting that on their site they do a lot of business stuff so the site tends to be ex fat so just bear that in mind so that's those I also in addition to what's in the kit ordered up some cabling so that I can wire up my steppers I ordered up a emergency stop switch the big panic button basically um, the list of the contents of what comes in their kits is on the website um, pop that up there as well. so the steppers decent weight in these um, I think it's an 8 or 10 millimeter output um, but I know it's an 8 to 10 on Lovejoy's I believe that you need uh, a flat on one side so I'm not going to run that. Uh, this also comes with the extension cable that you need, so I only have to make up two cables at the moment. Um, and I will need to think about how I'm going to waterproof these, so that's something to look at. Uh, On off switch, uh, which I think has been superseded by the other one. So that's that's these. The servo, so I keep rushing for that. Eh? Steppers, nice terminal block to join things up with. This is the um, breakout board with the zinc timber output. I'll leave it in there just now, but uh, it's got all the interconnections that you need to be able to connect it to your steppers. Uh, Palo port interface, which will connect to this. And uh, yep, yeah, and the manual for this is online. So that stays in there. I also have the breakout board that I bought so this is a six axis uh, Wi-Fi not Wi-Fi networking uh, breakout board so crossover cable if you go into PC and uh, direct cable if you go into networks this is a hub or a router uh, I'm going to go to PC so I've got a crossover cable for that looks like a nice bit of kit mountain holes on the front and on the base so you can pop it on your panel so I'm looking forward to learning about that I believe that's full six axis uh, so that will be interesting I'm not building six axis at the moment but that's fine so the other thing is the manuals for this are all online um, I printed them off this morning just switched through to the right section so this is the manual for the UC 400 ETH Ethernet Motion Controller User Guide um, full information on the website um, 400 kilohertz stepping frequency and up to 6 axis and this is the full how to set it up there's various drivers for this um, he's got a rigid tapping driver for it if you're able to have control your um, a VFD and a spindle uh, you can get a tool setter that's wireless that connects into this as well which is good so that's fine so that's the manual for the motion controller what I do like is it's almost an all-in-one shop really okay and um, dig oh, speak digital stepper driver manual and uh, a typical wiring diagram so that's for the 
the 556 steppers. So that gives you all the information you need on those. Then you have the, the manual for the breakout board, the CPO 10 volts, which we just saw a minute ago. Again, has a good wiring diagram, tells you all about it. So that's nice. Um, tells you how to set it up with Mac 3. Just checking my page counts here. So, yep. And then manuals for the steppers. So you get your four and a half newton meter stepper motor and a diagram on the back. And you've also got, when I can flip the page, the data sheet for the four newton meter stepper. So that's good. So that gives you everything you need on the steppers, the stepper drivers, the, the two controller boards, your breakout board and your motion controller. The other thing I really do like is what they've done is they put together a specific data sheet for wiring up your three or four axis pro wiring kit. There's also an ultimate wiring kit um, and they've done a manual for it. it. Tells you what to do, gives you good examples of the documentation you need, um, where your light comes in, where all your power runs go, for the panel supply mount, uh, for your 10 amp uh, RFI filter, gives you a chassis mount version, gives you the x-axis wiring diagram which is useful because I've never done one of these before so I'm looking forward to that using your 24 volt and your 48 volt power supply into your board, into your stepper, and out to your stepper motor, tells you the colours of wires. Then you get your Y axis diagram, Z axis wiring diagram. I'm not going to go through these too much, you'll see me when I do the build. And an A axis wiring diagram for the fourth axis, which is a possibility I might make one because I've got the stepper driver. You've got input wiring diagram for E stops and limits and home switches, which is really good. It shows you which connectors on your CPO 10 volt to use and how to wire your limits and home sensors. Input wiring diagram for the touch probe. This is for the um, wireless uh, tool setter, which is useful. I'm definitely fancying getting that. And then there's a dip switch for settings for the 556 stepper. So, what's to say, really? I'm really impressed. I like the fact that they're not just selling you the kit and um, on you go uh, you're getting a decent manual with it they're on the end of the phone i don't want to sound like an advert for cnc for you <laughs> but to be fair um having done the research and having spoke to them at length that they're, they're doing everything you could possibly want them to do to, to support you and building your own diy cnc it's obviously in their interest for it to work and um, because if it works you'll tell people uh, so far, I've been really impressed. I can't fault the guys to be more than helpful and very generous with their time. Um, the next video is going to be assembling the Z axis, and then during the week, if I get the chance, I shall do the X and the Y. And then after that, I'll get a temporary panel and I'm going to mount all the, the drivers onto it, get the whole thing set up and running. I'm going to use Mac 3 and demo mode to start with just to get the um, machine up and running, the axis moving and everything, and just to prove that it actually does work. And then what I'll probably do is take the servo, so steppers, back off the um, mill, and then I'll be able to um, leave that for a little while, get the chip tray built for the stand, get the mill on the stand, and then I can actually maybe start making chips. All right? So yes, there we go, guys. Um, it's a nice kit, it's reasonably priced, it's available in the UK most importantly. I was sweating a little bit about getting the um, UC400 because it went out of stock, because how dare they, they sold some. Uh, <laughs> um, but I've got it now, so I now have everything I need to actually get the machine moving. I've got my laptop upstairs which I'll wipe, reinstall Windows on, get this Mac 3 onto it, get the control software for the UC400 onto it um, and as I say they've got profile for Mac 3 for Mac 4 if you want and um, they've got a rigid tapping macro which I can't use yet because I'll need to get a VFD that's electronically controlled but yes so it's, it's, it's looking good guys I'm uh, quite excited to be getting on with this 
Um, and so I'm going to just put all this onto uh, probably a, a ply board just now to keep it safe. Eventually it's going to get mounted on the wall up there behind the mill in its own cabinet. The emergency stop will be remote round to the front of the machine because obviously you want it right next to you. And yeah, so there we go. So next stop is the actual installation of the kit itself. All right. So again, guys, I'm pleasantly surprised people are actually watching this. <laughs> it's always good. Um, I hope it's useful. Uh, if you like it, um, click the link and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.